uh, Porn Stars of People podcast, episode three. Uh, thank you for being here. I have Charlotte Cross here. That's thank me. Thank you for, uh, for, for doing this. Thank Appreciate you. It. Uh, you're in New York City. I am. I love it here. You're, how, how often do you come here? Uh, probably actually too often. You know, I say I love it here, but honestly, I can't handle New York for longer than like a week. So we don't know where, so where are you usually? Where do you live? L.A. So you live so, in L.A.? Okay. Yeah, the, the best city weird, in the world. Okay, that, okay. <laughs> so I can see if you love L.A., that New York is hard yeah, to but digest. See, but see, I'm from the East Coast, though. So, like, Where? I'm from Virginia. Okay. And um, I lived in Boston for sure. a bit. So, like, I understand the East Coast and kind of the mentality of people out here. And, okay, well, describe <laughs> that. What does that mean? Well, the attitude. So What's the attitude everybody's just so, like, busy and kind of snotty. Okay. Whereas, like, LA, L- LA, like, I'm about to offend so many people. No, no, no. no. It's just, it, you know, because <laughs> I, I think we all think that about LA. We think that about LA. We, I think we, I think there's an absence of snotty on the East Coast because, like, in Boston, if you're snotty, somebody will punch you in the face. Um,. Okay, they're snotty to people that are not from there. Right. Don't it's, go to don't go to Boston with a New York hat. Right. right. Exactly. Sure. And but see, I'm a Yankees fan. Does okay. that count for anything? Okay. Sure. So, um, but I love LA. I I guess actually now I'm I'm an Angels fan a little. You okay. know a little bit. Right. I I uh, one of my friends plays for the Angels. Should we so. shout him out or leave him out, or leave him out of it? Let's not shout him out. He's, <laughs> okay. He's from New York. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, so you love you love hate New York, so so go yeah. go further into that. You know, I love New York because they have a Zaya wine and chocolate okay. bar. That's that's, a, that's that's about that helps. that's the most thing. That helps. I guess the Yankees and uh, wine and chocolate. That's about it. I mean, so that's a Bible right but there. But I know, but okay, so think about it. In LA, it takes me. I could drive thirty minutes, and I can rock climb and hike, and you can do that do, here. No, 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 no. <laughs> you could probably walk a couple. Well, there's probably a rock climbing build it. Like, okay, like a, like a so thing. I can do that in L.A. I found but a batting the, cage la- uh, this week. I love in New York batting City. cages. I don't remember where it is. I think it's on like 74th Street or something. I, I feel like the, every place should have a batting right? cage. But and it's like so, underground somewhere. That's crazy. But so then if I if I'm, you know, hiking or whatever, we can turn around and go 30 minutes the other way, if that, and be at the beach. I don't. I don't think those are real numbers. Doesn't it take an hour just to get Not twelve even. blocks in LA? Uh, no. Welcome to New York. What are you talking <laughs> about? You're so jaded. No. You I need to come to the right part been, of I've LA. Been, I've only been to LA uh, one and a half times. No, one and a half. One, no, one time. One time. Yeah. Yeah. What was the half you were thinking? I don't. I don't know. Well, just because because I I was there and then left and then came back in, in the same trip. Oh, okay. Right? So like there was like a reason I was there. I was doing comedy and then there was a bunch of down days where I was. I think I went to Santa Monica. Where? Yeah, Santa Monica's good. That's where I was, and I went to whatever the whatever the um the famous Venice Beach breakfast spot oh. was. <laughs> you were a completely different. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what are you talking about? The famous breakfast. I'm spot? thinking about corned beef hash, and you're thinking about yeah, right I'm like, you know, different, <laughs> different different end. I'm thinking about hippies selling right. you cool stuff. No, no, no. Your um, no, like the uh, male. Is it called Mel's? Is that right? I don't know what you're the... talking okay, about. Enough, I'm okay. like, I'm in the valley. Okay. okay. <laughs> fair enough. Um, so, okay. So we love the, well, the things in New York, that's great, but you don't like the people. Not that you yeah, don't like the I mean, people. I mean, I can deal with the people, but I feel like everybody in LA, it's just so, I, it, LA's sunny and it's pretty and right. beautiful. Sure. And it's like me moving to LA was me breaking out of my small town mold like little cookie cutter life sure. that i had it's the first time and, you were like on well, your own and doing i the mean thing. yeah on my own and doing well yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you know like i had gone i lived in boston for a little bit um i lived in florida um i actually lived in new york like right when i got into the industry okay. i came to new york and um uh was working with an agent up here and my so my first like new york experience was ghetto like like 185th and wadsworth okay, like sure. uh what is what the is, hell where, so, is that what is the that? bronx is that, i don't know i don't know that's what i mean i have no idea what that it is it was um, like it was ghetto you're supposed like to somebody know. you lived there right no i lived there for two weeks okay 
So <laughs> I like thought I was committing to this. This right. place looked great online. It's so crazy how New York is. I remember my first apartment. I looked at two places, two blocks apart, but I went to two, two different. Like I only came in on the train, mm -hmm. got out, looked in the, looked at the apartment, and left. Yeah. And then I came to the other. So I looked at one. I was like, I fucking hate this neighborhood. Right. And then I looked at the other one, not knowing that they were two blocks apart, and I was like, This is my favorite neighborhood. I, this right. Is, this is where I'm I can gonna live, live here forever. Right. Uh, see, I see. I like um, where where are we at? Upper East Side right now? No, we, right, no, upper no, West Side? Not a, not a, we're not where upper are anything. we? Should we tell them where we are? Are we in Manhattan? <laughs> we're 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 in <laughs> Midtown. We're in the yeah the right? most uh, deliberate yeah it's mid the most Midtown there is. We're actually in Murray Hill. Yeah, I knew we were in Murray okay, Hill yeah. because the cool diners right there. It's called what is it called the Murray, Murray Hill, Hill Diner? Diner. That's yeah. Yeah, that's it's a, it's good. That's so, how you know sometimes when you're on the road. That's how you find out where you are. Right. The thing is called the thing. Right. It's smart. Yeah. The, you so know, I, the, I travel so much. Sometimes I wake up like I'll be in San Francisco in my in my room up at the armory and I'll wake up in the middle of the night and think that I'm in like Florida. Yeah. And I'm like, do you have to do a thing? Like I have to do I have to if I'm if I'm not sure if I haven't slept in a while, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm not sure where I'm at. Uh, and I've been traveling. I have to like leave some kind of light on so I don't like panic. Yeah, I like, can't, it can't be black. You're black gonna have when to get up. a get a sun a sunlight. We're gonna have to put it on your. No, Amazon not even that. List. No, not no, no. I'm not worried about like the B12 <laughs> or whatever. No, I need to see. Like I need to wake up and see <laughs> so light? I don't panic. Yeah, no, just so, yeah. so I can see the room so I can recalibrate. Yeah, where that you're I'm at. Set, that I'm you in. Know what? That would help somebody's me living a lot, room or somebody's. Probably. You know. Do you stay in a lot of people's living rooms? Yeah, this is this is the thing. I, I don't I don't like. Are you having weird one night stands? No, I don't love hotels. I don't love them. Yeah. So when I go to when I go to do shows, uh, f you know, for comedy, I try to find places where I know people. I would rather be at somebody's house, uh, in you know, on their couch yeah. and wake up and talk to them. We make breakfast or whatever. Yeah. Or they tell me, you know, don't go to that diner, go to that one. Yeah. I don't, I don't trust the downstairs guy at the hotel. Oh, to not let people up in your room. No, not even that. To do, like, if or... I ask him, like, what's the place? He's just gonna oh. be like, I don't care. Like, I don't give a shit what what <laughs> the breakfast I'm like, place is. I'm like catastrophizing this. <laughs> no. I'm like, you think this is this <laughs> no. bad thing's gonna happen? They let me <laughs> up. <laughs> so yeah, I know, not, right? It's not a lot of security. Well, no, they knew you were coming. Okay. Yeah, fair they enough. knew. Did you tell them you were coming? I was to my waiting room? for her to get off the phone for like a while because I wasn't sure if I needed a key to get in the elevator. No, you didn't. No, actually. so she so she was just like so she was like. Is there anybody in the like? I was like, so I'm gonna, and she was like, is there anybody in the room to let you? And I was like, yeah. I was, I don't know if I could use. We were both doing like not real sentences. Yeah, she was just worried. She's like, well, this person looks nervous. They probably <laughs> think that you're coming up here and like you're doing purchasing me. Yeah, okay. All yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> you're renting me. Unfortunately, that's not the goal. Um, so, okay, wait, we never finished it. So I stay in places. Uh, yeah, I'd rather stay at somebody's house. I don't. I don't like the like it's something impersonal about being in a hotel. Yeah. Some people love it. See, it depends for me. Like it depends on the hotel because I can I get weirded out about like germs and stuff sure. and people like sleeping. So <laughs> well okay, so that's a good question. In the same bed. So is are there more germs in this hotel room than there are in my buddy's house, you think? It depends on your buddy, honestly. Okay. I'm like, I don't know. Okay, Who are so you wait, hanging out let's with? Go th let's go through the... Well, I'm trying to hang out with adult people at this point in my life. But, but you know, uh, but there's been times when I wasn't. So, uh, okay, so so how do you mitigate germs? Like, are you... When somebody walks in your house, shoes off immediately? Um. So, yes. I Especially if I've just, like, deeply cleaned the house. So, yeah. we... I'm a Romney Chell um, gypsy. Okay. So, I don't know what any of those words uh, mean. So Rum Rumney Chels are a tribe from um, uh, Europe okay. that come from Romania and then they migrated to uh, England and Scotland. So I'm incredible. Like I, I'm really OCD, okay. and I don't know if Do those things actually of... go hand in hand. Well, okay. well, being cleanly is a is if you're if you're dirty if you're a dirty girl it's really frowned upon. Sure. And I'm like culturally, sure, yeah, got it. So I've just always been raised to like be a neat freak. So yeah. my roommate Harley Jade is the complete opposite okay. of a okay. neat freak. Okay. I'm gonna blast her yeah, out right sure. now. Do it. She, oh Take it God. all out. She, she just, you know, she's very. I think artistic and a lot of people that are artistic. This is a weird cover, are, but okay, I'm, I'm, I'll follow. I'll take this. I'll, I'll a lot of people it. that are artistic, like uh, they're, they're scatterbrained sure. sometimes. Well, there's organization, and, but it doesn't necessarily manifest, manifest right, itself through in th through like the, the dishes. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, so Harley will 
like just destroy her room yeah. and i i like but it's but as you're like it's in your room I, I just leave it in there yeah yeah so sometimes though when i like walk through the house like i bought these air purifiers i okay. bought three of them the i bought little, the like a little joint that's that sits no, no, on the no. Thing, they like, were like 200 dollars yeah, a yeah, piece yeah. yeah so i bought these like really nice hepa air purifiers yeah. um that d- it does like a turbo cycle and, and it takes out germs okay. smells like, allergens allergens mites. and then like sure. yeah and okay. then general clean okay so i love i love my um uh, my air filters well Harley had had been gone for like two weeks. So she has no idea what she's walking into. Right. Well, she knows that I was like cleaning the house. Well, yeah. a lot of times when she leaves, she comes back and I've just been like like cleaning and right. the house smells like bleach and yeah. she's like Now is are those I, related things? She's gone, she's like, I can clean everything now. Yeah, it's like me organizing <laughs> okay. the world. Right. I'm like, she's gone. Right. Right. I'm just gonna clean and so when I come home right. it's gonna be clean and then she's gonna take her shoes off and and you know not not met not make anything dirty right. so um and i but i'm i have obsessive compulsive disorder so yeah, yeah. like i overly clean things um like have you ever cleaned and, something so hard that you like you took the paint off it like you fucked something up no i i've been there i used to be like that with my hand well okay with your no, hands yeah so i i used to wash my hands so much until i finally started to learn that um that germs uh you can't wash the good bacteria right. off of your hands right. or you're gonna get more sick sure. and if my fingertips were hurting okay try yeah no i have the same well i have the same it's not the same but it's the i had that level because i uh i would bite my nails and yeah. I was biting my nails long before I was fingering girls, mm-hmm. so I didn't know exactly that I, you know, I got I have, I have some level of nail to protect my right. finger. So anyway, <laughs> the um, the moral of or my whole my whole point to this story is she that comes Harley in, ruins came your life. home. <laughs> No, that's the, that's she the moral. came home and I was like, I hired a maid just to clean the whole house. And she, I was like, Hey, are you going to come home to clean before the maid comes? And she was like, I don't want the maid to go in my room at all. And I was like, Oh my God, the only reason I hired a maid was, was for so, was room. for your room. Right. My room is clean. I'm doing fine but on like, my own. Okay. Yeah. I, I will tell on myself a bit. Like my closet is a mess. Yeah, and we, you know, like I'm, I clutter my yeah, clothes. Clutter doesn't, doesn't mean filth though. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say, Charlie say she's like filthy but um, but that's just because we're gonna see her in a second and yeah, you don't want to be mad at you she's gonna listen to this that's all so she she's just always for your gone. standard she's always gone yeah for my standard for your level you I'm couldn't like, I'm do like, what all of the things in here? Yeah. so i put one of the air filters i don't know if she knows that you i did this no, well i tried to put it in a room but i didn't want to go in a room because i didn't want to like like breathe in any germs so it was, you didn't I, want you, you didn't want to not go in a room <laughs> so, not to disturb her things or, or to invade her privacy you didn't want to breathe her dirty ass <laughs> oh air. yeah exactly That's incredible. so i put so <laughs> i put this air filter in the hallway right next to the door and, yeah because she Hilarious. was like i'll be home in a second so i took mine out of my room and i put it right like next full to, sprint yeah and i put it on it turbo in. and Hilarious. pointed it towards her room and i did it so passive aggressively and this was right before we came to new york yeah and it I was, was five, just, five minutes ago yeah exactly so i was Hilarious. just waiting i was like I was just like standing there looking at her like for her to come in the door and see it. And then she kind of started to clean her room after that. But my friend, my friend is staying at my house right now. And he was like, wow, the house is so clean. It looks great because I had the maid come. And, you know, I like also cleaned. And then all the smoke alarms started going off, like the smoke detectors, like the batteries are dying. And. Um, so he had to go in a room to cut it off. Uh, And he was like, what happened in Harley's room? room? (laughs) I was just like a, a singular I was, earthquake. I was like, she's been really busy lately. That's she so hasn't funny. had time to clean. That's so it. funny. All right. So you were telling me uh, before we started actually that that the level of germs in New York. Now that you're like you like you're cognizant of it. You you know you're trying you're trying extra hard not to get sick because of stuff, yeah. some stuff coming up. You've been wearing a SARS mask. Yes. You've been you've I been you've been a cool, white cool too, person wearing a SARS mask. Look at this Are you gonna sh- do you have a personalized art? Put it on. Yeah. Put it on. Hold you have on. a personalized so stars I mask. I broke it on the plane, um, so I have to put my hair up. To, you broke. I broke the the, the mask ear loops that, because of that tighten it. Pressure and it, stress. Because I was trying to put it around my ponytail. Just you were so aggressive about it. Because I wanted to make it tighter, so I put it around <laughs> my ponytail. Okay. Okay. So wait, what part broke? The ear loops that that tighten it. This is now. By the way, it doesn't affect the podcast at all because we can't even we can't hear that you're wearing it. 
Yeah, I know. But you look right? like a lunatic. No, no, I no don't. problem. Okay, because it look doesn't. So cute. No, it doesn't look like a SARS mask. It looks like you're gonna rob a fucking bank. I know. That's the cool part <laughs> about it. But nobody knows why you're wearing <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. Everybody's scared. Yeah, it's really creepy. Everybody <laughs> looks. Right, and at you me. just talk like you'll just talk to like, well, like like the like the flight attendant just normal like, like it's like a normal yeah. thing. And I'll like smile at people because I'm a smiley person. Sure, but you and can't. So I'm but, like. So then, how do you know around. if they know that you're smile? Wait, put it back well, on and smile. <laughs> I don't understand. What do you mean? <laughs> So how do I know that you're smiling? This is why I made you come here because I was gonna show up at wherever we were gonna go. And you were gonna, we were gonna be freaked gonna be out. Like, <laughs> no, you were gonna be. Freaked oh, out. oh, in the mask. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Wait, okay, so yeah, it just looks like crazy eyes. You know, you can't tell that's a smile. Do like frown. They are crazy. Now frown. Now frown. Or like, okay, give me like, is that a frown? Okay, give me like a serious look. I can't. I'm laughing. <laughs> you're a comedian. None of it. You're none of it looks any different. You gotta understand how not different any of this looks. I'm smiling with my eyes. This is insane. This is going to be incredible footage, though. I'm, this is Everybody's <laughs> going to listen to this because of the five seconds you're wearing that mask. That's so, insane. I mean, I think that, you know. But you were telling me, you were telling me something. You, I, I stopped you from telling a story because uh, I, I was like, let's do it on the cast. But yeah. something happened at the airport. So, okay, I flew first class because I'm like. Because you're I, a classy bitch. Yeah. Well, no, not really. I just <laughs> didn't want to get sick. I'm like. I've Why got, is it cleaner I've in first two, class? Well, I've got two weeks in in New York. I, yeah. I don't want to get sick. I got to go back to LA. I've got shit I'm doing. So, um, the uh, like first class, you have premier access. You're uh, boarding faster, yeah. so you're spending less time in the airport, and there's less people so up there because it's kind of it's closed off. But then they, but then they gotta walk through. No, they, oh, not, they on, walk through not on not uh, oh, on Virgin. The okay, no, perfect. they can't. They because the way they, uh, right, you go this way and they go that way. Yeah, got it. They can't come up to the bathrooms. The, up yeah, the 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 one time that I did, I was I, the first, and then just the the looks and the whole mm -hmm. thing when people were walking by you. I yeah. think that's way more germs. I think because there's hate germs there too. Like yeah, they're just they're jumping angry, off of people. Like, yeah, the germs are <laughs> jumping off of people here. trying to land on you. <laughs> Get sick. Yeah. Right. So there were so many people like uh, they were there were what probably 12 people in first class and so i flew because i flew first class because i'm like i'm not gonna get sick i'm gonna you know just relax whatever and um everyone on that airplane was sneezing and coughing Hilarious. like i thought these i thought that these flight attendants were gonna start passing out airborne instead of like peanuts right i was but, but no one else was noticing that this was happening no 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 the guy behind me every time this this older gentleman would cough and sneeze he would be like that's disgusting oh in he was most, freaking like, out yeah in he was the, saying it out loud yeah in like and like obnoxiously oh, fuck. like and i was like and I think it was probably because I was wearing my mask and everybody's like, this girl obviously cannot get sick. Right. And I'm like, I'm not sick. And so I like was making it a point to tell people I'm not sick. Because I, Yeah, I used to think that people were wearing the mask, at, not out of uh, weird paranoia, but like they're sick and, yeah, and they it's don't a respect get other thing. Like that, that was an Asian culture thing. They, they wear it so that yeah. they don't give other people so shit. So I think that, uh, sure, in some places, but I, I, you can't get me to fly if I'm sick. So you, but, so uh, you, so... Everywhere you go, you wear this mask. Um, in New York, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I can't get sick. I have to be all healthy. Yeah. I look cuter, healthy. This is, I think we all do. Yeah. So wait. So this is what. So, that, so the, okay. So. Probably you, you, sometimes you, so, so, so I'm at this stage where I think everything's funny. That guy finally reached that stage. I don't know what it, if it's like some sort of like it's like the Buddha of you know like like that's the of level. Comedy. Yeah. yeah like, like I think like, everything's funny, but you know, the harder part is trying to figure out how to get that. Um, to other people, you know, that's that's the hardest yeah. part of comedy is is we see something that's funny, we know it's funny, mm -hmm. but we gotta like backtrack and like do like a mile of runway for you to realize to why laugh. that out of context thing is funny. Yeah. I gotta put the whole context. So I think I think that a lot of things are funny. So, so but I have a dry sense of humor though. <laughs> I have a and I have a really dirty sense of humor. I, I don't see. Yeah, like I think, I'm, I think I'm we super all do. Jaded. Like we all have that. God. And then and then the problem is sometimes when people like want to pretend like that's not a part of it. Yeah. Because that's the, we all know that's the easy laugh. Yeah. It's going dirty, and they right. and so people go, I don't, I don't respect people that go dirty. Well, it's because you no, know, it's easier, but it's like we we all yeah, have that childish thing. A fart we is funny. All love it. Yeah, yeah, we love it. We want to hear about it. Yeah, and you know, and a well executed dick joke is, you know, it's 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 like a fine wine. But I like it. So I'm on the subway, and there's a lady. So, um, you know, 
So okay, the way the subway ends, I don't know what train it is. It's, so it's so it's either the uh, the four or five or I guess it's probably the four or five because mm-hmm. it's benches. Okay. So other trains, you know, it's got the it's got the weird geometry yeah. with the sitting. So it's all benches. I guess it could be the two three. So it's all benches and it's got like the thing on the end. So I'm in the I, I try to stand at the doorway because I'm my germ shit. I don't want to touch anything. He's speaking like New York to me. I'm like, oh okay, yeah, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> so on the subway, I would you not take the subway at all? I did for the two weeks I stayed in New York, okay. and I'm going to force Harley to take it. Yeah. But honestly, like, I'm thinking about it, and it just feels like a hot box of, like... Yeah, you don't want to be... If, if you're having sure. all this shit al- you're about already... To tell me, you're about to tell me, like, this story, and I'm going to be traumatized. No, like. no, 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 because it, it, <laughs> it, it didn't exist in reality. So this woman oh. is sitting on the edge, and there's a person next to her coughing. Uh-huh. And every time the person coughs, she's, like, jumping, like, visually... Uh, uh, and physically affected mm-hmm. by the cough, like she's like getting away from the person, <laughs> and I find it so funny. And I don't have, like, I don't know anybody in the train, and and I'm and I've reached a point in my life where there's no, like, I, I I'm like, I feel like I'm in control of my own embarrassment, so I, I don't, mm-hmm. I can't get embarrassed. So, so just for me, I start like every time she like hopped a little closer to me, I started fake coughing. <laughs> <laughs> so then she, so then he would cough on this side and he's really coughing yeah. and then I was fake coughing on this side and she was just getting like oh like just claustrophobic God. locked in this little thing but I was loving <laughs> it so much I was having such a hard time trying to figure out how to fake cough and not laugh but it was it was one of the best things that oh ever happened to me God. I mean what I feel bad for the lady but she's also she's kind of wrong why if you have that much fear uh, of of germs don't be on the subway don't sit down don't be on the subway yeah. Get, and like don't just and also it, she's kind of rude like fine he like if somebody like pulls a booger out near me i'm gonna uh-huh. get up and i'm gonna move i'm not gonna just i'm not gonna wince away and make that person feel like an asshole i'm gonna yeah. do it on my own yeah go away i don't want to touch by your booger obviously yeah I'm go away that i will say i'm afraid of boogers see that is that's such a okay that's a new york attitude <laughs> okay yeah, like, go away that's fine yeah yeah just don't look at it yeah you know move, remove yourself from it yeah so okay right. well what else i right, can appreciate going that so airport SARS mask um, coughing on a lady. This this is literally the, the, <laughs> this is the list that I wrote. Ca- coughing on a is lady. Is this supposed to be blinking or is it gonna die? What this or that? No, this is good. This is this is this is telling me that it's on and that it's uh, and that Wi Fi is. I don't know. Oh, it's a GoPro. We just plug GoPro. Send me a free GoPro. All right. So um, <laughs> so it, the, the most okay. The, the thing that happened the most recently was it was Valentine's Day last week. It was. Do you? How do you feel about Valentine's Day? What's your favorite holiday? I flew on Valentine's Day. Okay. And Valentine's so you hated Day isn't Valentine's really Day. a holiday. Like that. Okay. I'm, I agree with that. I mean, that's it's. A I have very personal holiday. feelings about Valentine's Do Day. Do you? Well, it's two days before my birthday. This sounds like yeah, like you've been jaded. Well, you know so, what? So, my, so if I'm in a relationship, my ber- my oh. birthday is directly affected by how good of a Valentine's oh Day my, I create for my person. Oh my God. So if I so if I bomb Valentine's Day, oh. then all of my presents go back to the store, so, or at least those are the people that have dated. So anyway. you know what? Speaking of being jaded, so <laughs> yeah. um, Harley, okay. Harley Jade, yeah. um, her birthday is Christmas Eve, mm. and she's a twin. Oh, Jesus. So she's what a life. like, she gets like a triple whammy, yeah. and she, she really- gets no, She gets basically no appreciation. Yeah, that whole so, time. So she hates holidays, but I, okay. I am like, yeah. So you're gonna ask her these yeah, questions. No, no, no. I'm gonna be in here for moral support because oh, she's be gonna, her, her face, <laughs> she's gonna be like, oh, perfect. I got some, I got some insider um, info. So I love throwing parties. I okay. am such a favorite I, holiday. Uh, I don't know anything I can bake a cake for. Really? Like, yeah, like I love Christmas. Okay. I love, um, I love giving presents. I love people's birthdays. Okay. So I, I just have to show you my friend. Uh, Sam, he. Can we can we shout out Sam? I, every yeah. time every time you say shout something, I feel like we can, we can't figure if we can um, shout him out or not. I made my friend Sam a uh, fox cake. I don't know what that means. It was made out of fox, you. or it looked like a fox. No, it looked like a fox. Because that's where we're at in life. Is like like mom would be like <laughs> mom would make mom would make cakes for me as a kid, but you would call it what the what it resembled. Yeah. But that's, now that's, in in this day and age, with people so thinking that restaurants are a big deal. It. It's literally usually made it's out of fox. fox. I don't understand. Oh, you don't want me to touch it. Sorry. No, it's fine. This is. Um, okay, it's a fox. It's a fox head. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it's very cute. Cute. So yeah. I made him that, and uh, his birthday's the day after Thanksgiving. 
Um, yeah, all my friends, I'm like, well, I gotta it's, go wait, back and this count. year it was the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah. So this, yeah, this past year was the day after Thanksgiving. So we did Thanksgiving and I made him a fox cake. And so and I, I, I will do a fox cake. It, it it's was, so it's, it's it was so cute. So <laughs> I, I will do anything like somebody's sick. I'm like, oh my God, let, cake me, time. let me make you it's something. Fucking cake time. Soup, cake, whatever you okay. want. Like, no shit. like I'm from West Virginia. So yeah. I was technically like bred to be a housewife. Yeah. Not sure. inbred. Um. What's so funny? <laughs> it's so funny. So, like in the Northeast, you, you can always find it. You can always talk about towns, and then mm-hmm. you talk about what the what like the worst town around is. Yeah. You know, like you, if you're from Syracuse, you just find like a shittier suburb. Syracuse. For, <laughs> that's where I'm from. So, and so I, I have so, friends from Syracuse. So I'm from Baldwinsville, and so our suburb is kind of shitty. So we have to find a worse suburb, like Solve to make yeah. fun of. For, so I go around, you know, the country a lot of times trying to figure out what the shitty place is. And for some reason, in absence of a, of a shitty suburb, they just go to West Virginia. Yeah. When I get in that area. That's they what just, happens. That's the butt of all Everybody's the jokes. Everybody's like, West, West Virginia, Virginia, right They're the here. worst. Yeah, so, so funny. So, um, yeah, so I love, like, make, giving people presents. I l- and so, okay, basically, I threw Harley a surprise birthday party, and I wanted to sh- throw her an anti-holiday party, but we didn't have time to put it together. I, I don't even know how that works. An anti-holiday party? Yeah, because party? you can't, because, so okay, but So I was going to celebrate, yeah, it was a so huge party. she doesn't party. hate parties. She doesn't hate she parties. She hates holidays. She hates holidays, okay. yeah. She hates celebrating things. Right, right. So, so that's the same, right? So it's kind of like it's like a it's an anti-party party. Yeah, so I have like a forced celebration <laughs> fetish. So like, okay. Okay. so I planned this whole entire party, and she's really big into raves and like okay. EDMing sure. or whatever. Yeah. That EDM music. Yeah, I like, the, I like the people that aren't in it. They just don't, they just, yeah, it's whatever. EDMing, yeah. I don't yeah, know, whatever like, they do. She's really into Whatever that, that cult so is, we don't know what that is. She drags me along so the things, funny. and I'm like, like, <laughs> have you learned anything? Do you, it, like, well, so I feel like that's I'm an environment like, that you can't be forced into and then decide to like it. Well, I'll, okay, I have more on this later. Okay. We'll get right back to this oh, okay. after this story. Please. So I basically <laughs> decorated this whole Mediterranean restaurant, which okay. was, it's like a cool, cool, like new like, place. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, oh, okay. I thought you made it. No, no, no. It's an actual Mediterranean. <laughs> Mediterranean I thought restaurant. you made your apartment in a. Okay, you went <laughs> no. to a Mediterranean restaurant. So we went to and, and we that. surprised her. She cried. It was wonderful. Okay. I was like, yeah, every year you for your it. birthday, this is gonna oh, happen. So fun. That's so. all I've wanted for like. 34 years yeah. is someone to give me a fucking oh surprise God. party just be my friend Jesus. like so katie morgan yeah. uh, who's like my other best friend sure. she's like my big sister um her birthday is saint patrick's day okay so i decided like two days before that i was gonna throw her a surprise party and apparently nobody had ever thrown her a surprise party That's, nobody gives so, people surprise oh parties my God, i've planned what? two for my father and one for my grandfather yeah I had I, I had a little oh. bit to do with the grandfather one, but they're great. I love surprise parties. And then so, people feel like they have to give speeches. It's like a whole does other this thing. For my birthday, like right. nobody ever does surprise things hint, for my birthday. Hint, people. I am the yeah. I'm like someone surprise. And hint, me. hint on me. Somebody <laughs> give me a fun. like. I like I I like I've introduced like I like when if it's if I'm dating somebody's near my birthday, I'll start introducing yeah. them to long lost friends and yeah. telling stories yeah, like, so that they know who you to guys call. Should exchange numbers. You got to make sure that you yeah, call my first, cousin that's in Miami because this is gonna happen. I know I don't see him all the time, but for a surprise party, he better be here you create a whole facebook group like if if just I, in case for a hypothetical long lost friends party, this is, this people is that i, I would invite. love to see that i haven't seen in a long time <laughs> hint hint so um katie i threw her a party and like nobody goes to sushi on saint patrick's day that's like i right. mean yeah that's like the most un-american I mean, right. or the most un-irish thing right. i don't know i yeah. guess that's well and they don't even serve beer yeah, and so and nobody goes sake bombing so, on on uh, so, uh, St. Patrick's Day. So Katie loves sushi. Okay. So we did Tokyo Delves. We went. It was crazy. There was like thirty people that showed up. That's awesome. And I had like a set menu, and I did this all in less than twenty. That's it was awesome. like less than twenty four hours. And honestly, that's the, that's the bad. The problem when you plan to be surprise party is any period of time mm-hmm. before you give people you can fuck it up. Yeah, you can fuck it up big. Mm-hmm. And so I had Evan Stone like bring her in, and she had no idea she just thought he was she he was taking her to dinner yeah and then we surprised on the birthday yeah that's and, great and she was like oh my god we, nobody's ever done this movie. because of how how far i've had to plan people stuff we always try to do it on some off day like some, yeah. sh- some day that it wouldn't have anything to do like there's no reason you should think it yeah uh because if it's on your day right or it's like what are we gonna like it's like because then you always have the risk of like what are we gonna do for my birthday and then you got to go nothing we're gonna do nothing yeah. because you can't th- well, no, you know what I mean? no that's not how you do it you, you come with a fit you come with a side wrong. plan you're like huh <laughs> we should just uh let's go to like 
dinner and then, you know, like the favorite club or whatever. Right. And like, so you kind of hint at what you're going to do for the surprise yeah. party. But then but it deads it. Yeah. Okay. And then, that makes and then they're like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm a so that's liar. enough. I'm not. Really? I'm the worst. I feel like you're not. <laughs> don't you have to make oh, thank up you. stories to be funny? No, like, see, I don't believe in that. We'll talk about that if you oh. want. I believe in, in uh, like, my mom and my sister are the best exaggerators on earth. They'll tell a story, and, like, eventually in the story, you look at the family, you're like, none of this even happened. <laughs> and she's just telling our family. <laughs> But it's great, you know. It's great. There's something great about yeah. it. I could never do that. I can't. I can't go that far out of the realm of reality. I have yeah. to. I have to find what's funny about what's actually happening. Yeah. On some level. You're okay. an Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> 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 Whatever all those things. Okay. So Katie Morgan uh, surprised with the very cr- tears. Did she, yeah, she cried. Oh. Sorry, tears. I think something completely different. Sure. I'm like, what are we talking yeah, about with tears? <laughs> that can mean a lot of weird things. With right. We don't even have to talk about. Okay, that. Okay. So how many people <laughs> surprise parties have you planned? Probably like four. This is amazing. Yeah, I I love birthdays. I've been my best friend um, Emily and I uh, shout out Emily. Shout out. To I don't know why Emily. I'm shouting everybody out. I've never had my own radio so show before. She, <laughs> oh, that's what it is. You're but right. you know what? Shout when, out. I, when Katie and I had a radio show, I used to shout out everyone. I'm like, it's not even a shout thing. Out. It's not even a thing that people do anymore. Yeah, and they're like, what? Shout why out. Don't, don't say my name on the radio, <laughs> God. <laughs> like, Plus, yeah, who cares? I'm like getting friends texting me. We're not live, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, basically, what was I going to say? Oh, if something good. Oh, so Emily and I have been making each other's birthday cakes and her birthday's coming up. So I don't know what I'm going to do because she's back home in West Virginia and like she just got married. And you're going to mail her a cake. Are you you going to try to to have somebody deliver it to her or something? Or I'm just going to have to show up on her birthday. But. I mean, it's close. No, Her birthday is, I think it's March 4th. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so there's no really way. Yeah. I won't, have, I, won't, yeah. I won't have my shit together before yeah. I have this thing released by exactly. then. Exactly. <laughs> Do you have your shit together? I have my shit some, somewhat con- together. Would you consider I have my shit together somebody more. that has their shit together? I have more of my shit together than other people in, in this in this business yeah. as a general rule. Okay. But then there's a lot of free floating shit that happens in this business that I can't control and I haven't figured out how to control. Right. And so sometimes I just go, you know what, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. And, and how so long I have you been doing comedy? And so I try to carve up my thing. So I got here in 05. So I've been oh, in comedy wow. that's, I guess it's 12 years now, which oh, kind of, which feels sad. Wait, did you say you were at the Laugh Factory? No. Did you I, say, where were you at? No, when I did, what, where did I, when I was in LA, I, I played. No, 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 the, uh, the other day. Oh, Stand Up New York. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, never mind. Um, there's no there's no Laugh Factory in New York anymore. The, uh, they killed that club and um, they changed the name three times and now it's and now it's literally a haunted house. That's what that's that's the value of comedy. Wow, is that it turned into a haunted house? My friend has like a dollars. little little thing he says about me when I'm near. He like I go to like my friends' uh, comedy shows yeah. all the time and, Shout and out or no? when I yeah Adam Hunter. Okay, Adam I Hunter love Shout Adam. Out. He's okay. he's fucking rocks. He's mm. about to get. Um, about to get engaged. Oh, I nice. mean, you know, he's about to get married. He's already engaged. Okay. Um, but so I'll go. Adam does this little like uh, comedy club thing at the Dime, um, yeah. and it's like a free show because they're just trying to generate sure. stuff at the bar. Um, and he does that like on Tuesday nights. Uh, it's like his thing. So I will go, and when he's not playing a big show, and if I stand up, he says like. He's like, this is my friend Charlotte. She's so cute, and I'm like, okay, I like where this is going. So you, de- so then you deliberately stand no, up. No, I don't. Oh, I okay. try to not stand <laughs> up, and um, I just went to go grab grab a drink last time, and he was like, this is my friend Charlotte, and then he was like, um, she's in school. She's like one of the few porn stars that are actually like like doing porn to to, to, to pay, pay for bills. school, sure, yeah, yeah, to yeah, pay yeah. for school. <laughs> And so he'll he'll kind of uh, tease me a little bit, and I like it. It's fun. It feeds my narcissism. Yeah, yeah. That's what we were, so that's what we were saying before, and I and, and this is this is kind of where some of the ideas for uh, the origin of this podcast came from. Is I think our industries are, are similar. I think I think there's probably the same amount of people trying to do comedy as there are trying to do porn. Yeah, and there I are a think lot of porn people trying to do comedy. There, well, and that's the that's the other oh, one that's I happening think. now. Well, because here's here's the thing. Uh, it, 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 it works. <laughs> so at this, at this stage in entertainment, all you have to do to get into comedy is just be somebody that people know. So, you, so you have, uh, I don't know, tens of thousands of Twitter followers, yeah, right? So know. just have that. You walk into a club, you go, Hey, uh, people know who I am. And then they'll put you on stage. <laughs> on stage. They don't, they don't care. Yeah. Not to say that the people that are doing, uh, comedy that were, that were in your industry are bad at comedy. Cause I don't have specific examples. Right. Uh, but 
maybe there are people that are getting on stage my face. in comedy. <laughs> there are people getting on stage in comedy um, because of followings and things like that, right. and, and they didn't pay their dues, and that, you know, so it's the same kind of thing. Uh, people, but then there's also people that are that are trying to get in that mm-hmm. end up getting in and hate it. Yeah, aren't good at it. Yeah, and then they get out or they feel the exploited. Same. Yeah, you know that happens a lot. Like girls are girls are not prepared sometimes when they come in and they think they're going to make all this money yeah. and just be famous so yeah. quickly and i'm like listen just because you're taking it up the ass on camera for a couple of, like <laughs> you know a little over a thousand dollars you're like yeah, and it and it's the same it's the same in comedy yeah not 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 you're specifically not famous, with the, right. not specifically with things going up your ass but you're in a <laughs> basement for free for people that right. don't give a shit and uh and it hurts it, yeah. i mean it really hurts every time it's a penetrating feeling is it to, to to say something that you think is in your heart that you think has value and to just have a room of people stare at you. that's an open mic it's a they little, just little stare masochistic. at you it, it would i don't yeah i don't know what the equivalent <laughs> of porn would, it would just be it would just be uh masturbating forever never coming like that's what that's what the first five years of comedy is for the yeah. most part for it's most people just solo masturbation no scenes. come just no just nothing ever see i feel like coming is not the uh is not the reward in porn like not in porn that's for, true <laughs> for that's me true. i'm like just write me the check right <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> but the laugh is the reward in comedy and yeah so without that it's just a it's a fiasco and you have to you have to get a thick skin you have to figure it out and you have to be comfortable with yeah, p- p- parts of a joke might not work for a while. Somebody, you know, you need to have me in every show. Yeah. So, um, when Adam was doing this uh, thing, somebody that went on, I forgot who it was. He was so funny. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back and look. It's my favorite thing that people um, do. I, I wonder if it, if, it, if, it, if it goes. So they'll go. Oh, I was at the comedy club last week. I said mm-hmm. awesome. Uh, I said who'd you see? Yeah. And they go. Um, it was a uh, guy. Usually he has remember, hair, uh, and he was talking about we'll his mom. See, I usually remember, but there I saw like ten different people yeah. that night. So, but this guy was like, I love watching people's expressions when I tell jokes. Like this girl right here, and was pointing at me. He's like, "You look like like you're gonna be a great mom one day." And I'm like, "If he only knew, yeah. holy shit!" Um, sometimes, yeah, sometimes the person so, that says this is way off. Yeah, place. and he's like, "You're gonna be a, well." Everybody tells me that. I think it's because I bake cakes oh, for all my friends. So maybe maybe They're it's like, true. You're gonna be a great mom. I'm like, "Are you gonna be a mom universe one day?" This is for decoration only. You know who's about like, to be a mom? Who? Jennifer Aniston. Oh my! After God. all of that bullshit, wow. they left good, each other. Good for her. <laughs> Good for her. Sorry, I don't know why that, I don't know why it worked away. Well, way I just saw it at the grocery store. My uter- my uterus is only for decoration. Okay. I'm like 22, you know. Decoration, dec- mm-hmm. decorative uterus. Okay. Yeah. Fair so, enough. um, this guy was like, "You're gonna be a great mom one day. You're like that soccer mom who, who your face, you just seems like you have so much pride when somebody tells a joke where you wow. laugh and you're like, that was so okay. Good. That good that, good that might not you. be wrong. I feel like you're a compassionate so, person. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I try he, to. Be. He might not be wrong on all all accounts. So, That's just funny. that I'm gonna be, I'm I'm like just want everybody to know I'm it, have no interest in being a mom. No interest. Keep your keep your cum outside of my vagina. You know, it's only respectful. Um, all right. So Valentine's he's Day like, oh my god, we have to make her stop talking about. Sex. No, 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 no. So that's, that's <laughs> okay. So the so the, the podcast is called Porn Stars of People, and we talked about it a little bit beforehand, just from the standpoint of I've seen the way people talk to porn stars, and yeah. it's gross. And I did, I just don't want to go down those lines. Look, yeah. I mean, on stage, I'm, I talk about cum. I talk about and that, no, that's not my act. I don't know why I said, but you know, you t- <laughs> I talk about relationships. I talk He's about like, sex. It's all I do for forty five minutes. I talk about cum. <laughs> come see me. I'm going on tour in two weeks. Come see all. It's a cum show. It's incredible. <laughs> No, um, but but all those things come up. So it's like, you know, right. like I'm trying to find the barrier well, and the intersection know, think, of what these things are and where we can go and not go. I think it's important to. I just don't want you to sit be, here and, well, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. and just get way into the thing. And I, I don't want to. Th- I think that it that it's important to be able to talk about sexuality yeah. in in an open light. Um, yeah. Now, you know, I, I I don't know. I grew up in like a really small town in West Virginia. My yeah, dad's a preacher. See the town or no? Um, is it too small to I say? I mean, no, it's, I mean, yeah, nobody would know it, okay. but, um, kind of close to Virginia Tech. Uh, okay. sure. I don't yeah. even know what's, I don't know what city the, it is, but it's in Bla- Blacksburg is Virginia okay, Tech, but like, uh, so like Bluefield, uh, Virginia, West Virginia and my house, like my house is literally divided by the line, the Virginia, West oh, Virginia hilarious. line, like Wait. how inside your inside your house yeah so my mine and my brother's bedrooms no. uh were in west virginia no, so my real. mom gets so mad my mom is like 
you're lying. So like our bedrooms are in West Virginia and this isn't this, sound, would, this doesn't sound real. This sounds like a Willy Wonka no, plot. No, this, this is, is serious. So like <laughs> and then the rest of the house and like so like the you're yard like just and get everything. out of my chick. Just yeah. go to West Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody from West Virginia doesn't get to talk to me for the next no, thirty mom, minutes. My That's mom hilarious. Would get so mad. Because- so she lives in Virginia <laughs> and you live in West Virginia. That's incredible. No, she would get mad because I would tell everybody, yeah, I'm from West Virginia. And she's like, no, you're you not. You are not from no, West you're Virginia. Not. And I'm like, mom, yes, Mama, I am. I just took a shit in West Virginia. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, I, I spent all my time I, in West Virginia. I'm, That's I incredible. Sleep there. How can you put a house on two states? That doesn't make any sense. Because, okay, you have Bluefield, Virginia, and you have Bluefield, West Virginia. And they're so Bluefield. So it's uh, kind of like uh, um, Kansas City. Yeah, Kansas, sure. Kansas City, Kansas City, Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah, exactly. So it's like... It's right there. Okay, yeah, interesting. Both. So you can be in like four states really at once, no actually. Shit. You've got Carolina down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No shit. That's the, that's an incredible story. It's a small town. So, uh, oh, I was going to tell you about EDM. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that seems like a, a, a normal story. Oh, my God. Transition. And I finally... Okay, I'm going to freak out. This is okay. the best thing ever. So, so you, figured out, you figured out liking so EDM. I've, that was my question, I've, basically. I've, Okay, as a kid, I used to, uh, not a kid, but like I was like 16, and I used to burn CDs for the guy I liked and his friends. Making a mixtape so, for somebody was like the sexiest thing you could do. Yeah, so I and used like, to burn like, them CDs. We wouldn't even write cards. That's our generation. We would literally, we would mm-hmm. just make people mixtapes. Yeah. So, and that would tell our whole story. So they would give me a list of like songs, though. So, yeah. um,. I would download them on BearShare. Yeah, and, dude, I remember BearShare. Oh that's so God. funny. I, I, that's so. That's funny. where I downloaded my first porn accidentally yeah. too. I was like, yeah. "Oh, accidentally? What am I watching?" No, I no, I I was I was always <laughs> I I was trying to download porn a lot of times, and I was accidentally downloading anything, like anything other than porn. else than porn. No, yeah, they, it got they to that. It, porn, it did yeah. get to that point for me. So like, but anyway, so um, we have BearShare to thank for me being Bear a porn share. star. Baron Sharon and Jesus. So, <laughs> <laughs> so my uh, parents would not let. They wouldn't allow me to listen to secular music. So um, I could only listen to Christian music. And what? yeah, so I, I would download. I would download these songs on Bear Share, and I had this little blue MP3 player. That you had a hide. No, so they knew I had it, and I would change the I would change the names of the songs Hilarious. to um, Christian songs. So funny. Well, one day my mom was uh, uh, teaching choir, and no. so I had downloaded this song, and um, I had changed it to like I can only imagine. Uh-huh. By, I think it's like Mercy Me or whatever. Yeah, it was and the thong song by Cisco. No, even better. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> So my mom, we were like in choir or whatever. My mom like goes to play the song and she's like, okay, we're going to start with I Can you Only were Imagine. Yeah, I was there. But, so, so you I'm know like, what's about to happen. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck my life. What? Why can't you stop her? <laughs> because because I didn't, I had to pretend like I was innocent No, here, that's so. a situation where you, where you, where you so. take the thing and you just start stomping <laughs> it and you're like, oh, I, I don't know. No, I had like a panic attack. they were so attack. much more durable <laughs> back then. Like that never would have worked. Throw it in water. So. Chuck it out the window. <laughs> Okay. So then she turns it on and it's Borgor ice cream. I don't know. This so is, wait, what is this song? It's called It's called Ice Cream. It was like one of Borgor's first. I don't I know, know what Borgor is. So I say I say his name's so weird, but it, it, I think I like stress. Sing the song. Uh, can we just play no, it? No, I want you to sing no, it. No, it's like all these bitches want to lick my ice cream. Okay. Sh- yeah. Wow. And so That's aggressive. Yeah. yeah. And so wow. it was what he... So. I've been like obsessed with him ever since because my mom played the song and she was like, "Oh my god!" So and she, how like, many people? How many people in the room? Uh, like the whole choir, like 30, 30 wow. kids. Okay, my so that's not that bad, but yeah. yeah, but that's still. But my mom, that's still the story they still tell in their life. Yelled, she was so mad. She was like, "Do you understand what this means?" I'm like, "Obviously, somebody wants to eat his ice cream." <laughs> <laughs> literal and my mom oh she was, was like, trying to explain to you yeah, no she was yelling at me like, like this is wrong and were. you have this playing and i was like i have, i'm gonna delete my bear share i'm so traumatized i'm so sorry but this is like, all an act yeah yeah no it, i was a little shit like, so funny. <laughs> like um so i met borgor here the other day oh no shit yes on so purpose I, yes so okay. i've been trying to it'd meet be weird him. to just run into so him, all, yeah, i don't even know all who that of is. my friends are friends with him because like like okay so harley's boyfriend is like a really big dj okay. and um and then all like his friend just toured with it, it was it doing a tour so we were out here and i was and then my friend ray Vol, uh, volpe 
I think I can never pronounce. You don't know how to say people's names. No, no, no. Shout no. out Ray Volpe. <laughs> yeah, V V O L P V O L P E. But they were making <laughs> they were making fun of um they were making fun of the way I pronounce everything. Right. So so wait, you met the guy and you never asked so him what his I've name was. How do you spell Borgor? No. It's B-O-R-B-O-R-G-O-R-E. They just make fun of the way I say it because I put it like two syllables. And so I what's it supposed to be? It's supposed to be like, like Borgor. Uh, no, I can't even say it. Because his real name is, a- is Ace of It's Borger. a soft. Yeah, it's a, a soft. soft Borger. Yeah. But his, but his DJ name is Borgor. Okay. So and you, so, so you, are you saying I said it, right it correctly just now. Okay, yeah. So it's Borgor. just the way I like, I like stress the wrong syllable yeah. and he's, they laugh at me. He's young. He's this is yeah. Yeah, so that, so yeah, yeah so he's that's why young. I don't know he's young and hot. Yeah. That's but why this I don't song know this is from song. like two thousand nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was But but so that's like less well, okay, do you know the song Decisions, um, with Miley Cyrus in it? And it's like okay, no, you would know um this is you like might, six degrees no. six degrees of separation from Borgor <laughs> trying to figure out which song it's gonna you, take you before know, I know who he is. You know um, I don't know who he is. Fuck, what is that I'm song? I'm not gonna know who I forgot. I could talk about G. Basically, I, I could love talk about him, G-Z But so, okay, hold on. My so favorite. I've been obsessed with him. Shout out my brother. Shout out to your brother. So I've been obsessed Borgor. with him for so long. Oh, can you pronounce your last name for me? I'm me right now. You're yeah. actually asking me Frigolette. Okay, so Frigolette. I've been trying to pronounce that all day. Yeah, my, who you been telling? My friend Borgor, was like. My friend was like. Um, he yeah, what, sounds Jewish. Is he guess? Jewish? So funny. I was like, Frigoletti, Frigoletti. Doesn't sound Jewish at all. That's pronounce. funny. That's never. Well, I was just Italian, saying Frig, Frig. I can't yeah, pronounce frig, it. Frig. Yeah. yeah so, um, so, anyway, I got to meet him, and I'm such a. Like, I. I have like some weird like rapey undertones to me sometimes where okay. I'm very like But you got to understand how not rapey a woman is. Right, exactly. It's so but if I was a guy, creepy. if I was a guy, Anything everybody that you say, would be like creepy. Oh my god. Creepy shit. You could be John <laughs> Stamos at a bar by yourself yeah. and be a creep. Yeah. It's not a good look. And so but I'm very aggressive and like I've just, We love that. I've been dying to meet him forever, okay. but he's he's apparently kind of shy, but you this trip yeah like, so, like within like the last two days ago two okay. days ago okay. so didn't have my stars mask on i'm okay. just gonna throw that yeah, out there because yeah. we were backstage so i didn't have to wear it okay. but, Wait, so, um, uh you, you saw would you saw him play yeah well and so harley took me on my birthday this past uh yeah. this past birthday we went and um i was supposed to meet him but then somebody gave me molly and i've never done that before in she my had no life no idea what was gonna happen okay yeah no i idea. accidentally took molly i was too. rolling yeah. my face off like crying like what's happening to me i thought so i was gonna funny. die it was horrible so it funny. Was wait so, so are you where are you on so, the where are you on the drug spectrum though uh i don't do any drugs i'm like a big yeah. consequences guy i'm always like i don't know if i'm gonna get my brain back after yeah this. Like, that's how i feel yeah so i i'm pretty so I try not i mean like i can drink with yeah. the best of them but you know <laughs> well okay I just don't know if mostly that, no. if we're talking about wine okay not, right everybody has yeah. their poison right yeah wine yeah and then like and then for and some champagne. reason the same person that yeah that, that does well in champagne if you right. get gin they're punching out car windows for for, for no reason yeah yeah, I don't okay, wait, know. so Borgor. Let's get into you so uh, aggressively met, approaching Borgor. Okay, well, I, I like tweet him all the time, and I so I finally got my Instagram and Twitter accounts taken away from me from my assistant. Shout out. Oh, really? so you're not Courtney. even in charge anymore? Yeah, no. Totally, oh, I got retweeted totally earlier. That's not, not even, I gotta give, I gotta shout out that your, your, your assistant for that. Yeah, yeah, no, it's always, it's always at Yay Courtney, and she yells at me. She's like, stop telling people that it's me. They're like, they need to know that. And, oh, yeah, and like that's, that's part of the, yeah. Like, sometimes it's, it's me, like, I, I'm on there. Like, if you see, like, a few tweets in a row that yeah. seem inappropriate or, like, okay. something about daddy, like, that's right. usually me. Okay. Like, okay. something These weird. These are the decoy things. Yeah, um, but. But now she's just going to write to, now she's just going to write that way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's no way. Exactly. But, we, but, we, but I think the public understands uh, at a certain level of, mm-hmm. of, of fame or yeah. whatever, you know, that, that. It's there's another person involved. Well, there's another mine's just away. because I I'm incredibly, you know, like if I am at my house drinking a lot of wine, yeah. I get I get super inappropriate, okay. and I am just tweeting like okay. so that's some literally off whatever. the wall stuff. Okay. People are like, right. well, what? and then and then because the, the problem is, it's like it 
it's not it's not it's not about being a person anymore. It's about being on brand all the right, time. Right, exactly. So and she's like, yelling uh, at me. Yeah. She's like, This isn't on brand. Yeah, that's what she said <laughs> it's to me so all the time. Funny. She's like, You're so off brand. You're not right on brand. Now? Right what are now? you doing? What is happening? Yeah, she's like, Stop posting that. You just I, lost six I followers because you're not on brand. of me waterboarding myself the other so day. And she's crazy. like, What are you doing? So crazy. And it was funny. That could be fun. Actually. I need you. I love being waterboarded. It's one of my favorite things. No, really. Look at this. I believe you. Oh wait, we oh, gotta the, oh, we gotta turn the sound on. No, you can't. It's fine. Okay. Hold on. It sounds like I'm having sex, but I'm not. It's the same thing. Waterboarding and sex are pretty similar. It's wait. So this is the this is the Snapchat filter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is. It. <laughs> I don't think you know what waterboarding is. No, it's, it's way yeah. more aggressive Hold on, than I've that. I've been waterboarded. <laughs> you see? Let me show you. Shout there out are, to Mr. Pope. There are yeah. There are plenty. Shout of, out to the Pope for waterboarding. Plenty, there are me. plenty of porn videos that are very that are very similar to waterboarding, but I think it's more like cockboarding. But no, waterboarding, waterboarding Charlotte Cross. Let's, really? Uh, they yeah. Put a, they put I, a. They I put legitimately a, so love they water torture. They cover your mm-hmm. face. Yeah. So you can't for, see it coming. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so it's a constant feeling of drowning. Uh, yep. What, what is exactly what is good about it. that? It's endorphin play. Okay. Um, I gotta find it. You can't Princess. do it to yourself. You're gonna drown yourself. Yeah, exactly. You you I'm no not control. allowed to. Don't worry. The guy they the, the all guy yelled at in me. excess. It was you know he did the thing. Yeah. He hung himself in his in his bathtub. You need somebody else. They all you yelled need a at spotter. me. And told okay? me no. They that's like when I play with my um, when I play with my uh, gas mask by myself. Um, and then they yell at me. They're like, "You're gonna, you're gonna fuck What's yourself gas? up." What's the gas mask? Where you put the filter on and you cut your oxygen off. They're like, "No, no I don't know." Any, yeah, you yourself. can't do that by yourself. This is it. You I can't know, do that. but it, it's like gives you so much endorphins. I'm, I'm like, that. I got into porn for like for the purpose of just doing fetish work. Like yeah. I could care less about like having sex with somebody. Yeah. I actually, when I write my scripts, I do not write sex into them. Okay. Like my whole production company is me either torturing a girl and making her do like weird shit, like yeah. hump pillows yeah. or, um, or, uh, me being like tortured by somebody that I would want to torture me. So waterboarding. Yeah. What do they call it? Breath play. What do Breath you call play. It? This is crazy. You're, you're, you're blowing my world. Right I now. know. Um, but basically, let's segue back. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's what, I, to EDM. Yeah, <laughs> yeah where we, so, get, we got so far away from so that. Okay. I um I met Borgor. Yeah, that and too. I was so we got to talk about so whether or not nervous. you just randomly grabbed his dick, and we got to talk about whether or yeah. not you actually enjoy EDM. I so I didn't. Before we leave. I didn't. Because um, you were worried about him being shy. Well, no, I was shy. I was you so became nervous. Shy. Yeah, I was so, so you, nervous. So you get, so you do get starstruck, or well, I guess I it's, it's do more not, like it's though. more like a crush. Yeah, I have such a crush on him, and he's. I just think but he's it is. so but cute. It, so, but it is though because it's because you don't know him. So, like a crush is kind of somebody. Yeah. Although it, it has, a, but it, but but the crush is on somebody who's yeah. kind of in the public eye. Yeah. So, so that's I that's have generally a, what being starstruck um, is. Because even dudes, like I was watching a show earlier where the, where where Chuck Norris came on the show, mm-hmm. and the dudes basically were stars because they had a crush, yeah. they had like a man crush They're, on Chuck yeah. Norris. Well, that's how I feel about War War. I don't right. do that with anybody, okay. with anyone else. Like, there's been nobody I've ever, ever been like, oh my god, oh my god, right. that's, that's crazy. Yeah. But I was so nervous. I asked him three times for a picture. I was like. Can we, have a, can we take a picture? And everybody was like, that he couldn't hear me because I was so quiet. Oh, not, not three separate pictures. Three times no, no, to no. get one picture. Yeah, yeah. And Got I it. was so quiet. And his manager, Justin, was like his tour. I think it's his tour manager. Yeah. But he was like, he can't hear you. He was like, he's like, he's hard to hear. You have to, you have to. He blew say his ears out because yeah. he's a DJ. Yeah. Oh, so and funny. so, and so finally my friend Ray, who opened for him, was like, Shut up, Ray. will you take a picture with her? And I was like. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And we took a picture. And let me just no, let me show see. Let's show. I've yeah. never seen it. I haven't seen anybody this giddy since high school. I know. <laughs> we took a picture. We Here's did. our picture. Oh, oh my god. god! Look at the difference between your face <laughs> and his face. And I'm gonna Do show it here, but I'm also me. gonna tweet it because this is incredible. Me right now. You're not even the. Sa- Here's the thing. I'm, I've been I've been in this room for an hour. Uh-huh. Uh, you're not even the same person. <laughs> In this photo, as you are right now, I just lost. I it, was but, so um, nervous, huh? Yeah, you are. You are a fifteen-year-old girl <laughs> in this photo because you're just so giddy. A thousand percent. It's like so <laughs> my face is so red it's right so now. So hilarious. Now wait. Um, yeah. So you have. So by the way, so you have twenty-three thousand uh, uh, Instagram followers, yeah. and this this photo only got a hundred <laughs> likes. Yeah, basically. 
because it, no. it, it's <laughs> so off like, brand. It's so like, off this brand. It's not Charlotte. It's so funny. Yeah, you're it's a completely different person. And it's then, so funny. But see, does this, oh do I God. look like a 15 year old girl here? No, no, I don't know why, <laughs> because it's like, this is you confidence with yourself. Yeah, but, I was but, so but scared. Then he's t- right, and look, and this, um, yeah, and this got fucking 500 views, which, you know, the views, likes thing is different with the video yeah. in uh, on here, but that's basically 500 people, but only 100 people <laughs> gave a shit that in that other picture, because they're like, who are you? Why are you a 15 year old girl yeah. and also why does this dude get to stand next to you that's the other half oh it's my god i was like so funny and and he like that my, might be that's gonna sitting, be my favorite picture on in your entire Instagram i was account. sitting so on funny. what i have like some almost nudes on there Come yes on. for some reason He's there's like, something no, about no. that there's something about that that's just it's me a, being it's, embarrassed i don't know yeah uh, well yeah i like i i i'm gravitated towards just like the adorable yeah and that's well what that here is. i was sitting over here when ray was like yeah i got you backstage and you backstage out. passes yeah Holy so shit. let me show you harley um harley took a video i'm crying oh my god crying this and she's so like oh my god i can't so, right now because i've been trying do you to meet think him you for even, a year but do you oh, think you could even crying. like do you think you can hook up with him because you're so because no, you're no. so you're so like starstruck by him i was so crying funny. you yeah you you know you can't even ha- you can't handle your own emotions you don't even know what <laughs> you don't even know whether you're happy or sad it was like yeah i was so excited yeah, it's so funny that's but crazy. I wasn't weird, and I like I was more worried that I was gonna be like, like. I told you you can't be creepy. All rapey and creepy. You can't be creepy. No, as a woman. you can. You can. You can be creepy as, and then I don't. I don't know how to like, <laughs> like, <laughs> if I guess you could be creepy as a woman, mm-hmm. but uh, not. I don't. Not as no. Not as like an adorable. See, yeah, but I don't know. He's like friends with a bunch of my friends, yeah. so I could probably like meet him a couple more yeah. times and then not give a shit. And then I'm gonna look Maybe. back and be like, I'm gonna call you like, Dan, can you erase that podcast? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the one thing. <laughs> I, don't I don't care if you post it. anything else. Uh, just, just cut that little take part that, out. Take that whole 30 just minute piece about <laughs> me. About it was. It turned into yeah. 35 minutes. <laughs> Sorry. People are people are uh, people They're are either like, hating this dude, dude or following him. I'm not sure. We're, we're blowing his career up right now. Um, you're getting a he, call. He's doing Should fine. we answer it? Is that what's up? No, no, no. This text? is telling me that I got to get off my fat ass. This is what the, oh, uh, my Apple does Watch. That yeah, to it's me. Just, oh. It says you're almost there. Uh, oh, keep doing cool stuff. With your Apple Watch. Keep Mine's doing my stuff. Cool Fitbit. It's the same, but it's it, but that's my favorite part about the the Apple Watch is the Fitbit shit. Yeah. Oh, uh, it has Fitbit on it. Not not the not the Fitbit technology, but the same oh. idea. It says, listen, you get you you pick a goal. Yeah. of how much you want to move and I picked it when I so I just had knee surgery two weeks ago oh, so I'm for, for uh, so I tore all the I tore nice. all the meniscus, meniscus so they ACL. went in they, they tripped the mm-hmm. they, they clipped all the, the nasty shit out yep. and whatever so um, so for almost so that, like when I after I ripped it and then I couldn't do anything mm-hmm. um, I, I, I couldn't I mean I couldn't do anything I couldn't go I couldn't go up the stairs I couldn't do like it was yeah. it was fucked up um, so then I realized <laughs> very quickly that like my goal that I'd set to like do movement of 900 calories was just gonna mm-hmm. bum me out every day. Yeah. Because every day it was like, hey man, you need it. You gotta so move. You and I was like, I can't move. Watch. <laughs> so I can't look. do it. Fuck you. I didn't know how to reset it. it was, so it was like, <laughs> oh my it was god, just bumming so me you're out being even like more. traumatized so, by well, your watch. So it was watch. seven months of yeah, basically me not being. I was I'm a runner, so I couldn't oh run for seven god. months. It was yeah, it's bad. It wasn't good. And the f- and the worst part is I ripped it uh, playing 1864 baseball, which is so so avoidable. What ask is ask, eight, what is ask every question. Ask baseball. every question you need to ask right what now. What is eighteen sixty four baseball? So because did you play baseball? Were you a shortstop? Um, I played. I played second, short, and third. <gasps> I mean, I was pretty close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and and there's a dra- there really is a drastic difference between third and, and second. But yeah, at my best, I played second. I remember I would have I would have I would have three I would have an inning where three three balls came yeah. to me and three outs. That's me. But uh, eighteen sixty four baseball is. Uh, the the origin of baseball the, right. the game of baseball was uh was played first in Hoboken mm-hmm. so I live in Hoboken and run I run a festival in Hoboken and um so I was like I want to get more involved right and for a couple of years I was just be, I was an umpire for them mm-hmm. and I bow tie top hat the whole wow. thing going out uh, going to the games it's all historic like reenactment stuff oh my god and so it's the Hoboken nine so I've been, I've been playing the problem is there was no fields there's no gloves there's no real uh, organization to baseball in 1864 so we play with those rules so we end up in like a field in Monmouth New Jersey like that's got let's just got humps in the field and it's just mm-hmm. like long grass and nobody cares so so now 
I was playing on this field. We played a doubleheader, and I'm running. And we didn't even line up directly on the groups. Wait, were you? Uh, were you? I was playing oh, now. So playing. I played last okay. season. So uh, so we lined up on the group. Like uh, like you know, we didn't even line up directly on the grooves. Like mm-hmm. we weren't. Like we didn't go into the humps or yeah. or against the humps. We lined up diagonally against them. So like you don't even know when there's a hump coming. Right. So that day, the next day, I wake up. Everything like I can't move anything. Oh my god. That's fucked. And then like an idiot, I wait like two months. Put a knee brace on. I'm like, I'm probably fine. I start yeah. running. Rip it worse. So. I did that as I choke. Oh, my God. I did that. Um, you, ripped, you ripped everything in your uh, knee? Playing no, 1864 baseball? No, close. <laughs> Similar. Um, tumbling. I tore my MCL. Okay. So wow. It was a Wait. Gymnast and okay, a so that's the other That's The, other the tendon, medial club. Right? Ligament. Yes. That's the one in the... The ACL's in the back. The ACL's M- like the... Yeah, the, the main, main one. one. But the mm. MCL's in the front? No, it's on uh, the inside. Okay. Well, that's... Okay. All right. Fair enough. I don't yeah, know. I don't know inside. enough. I should know that. You have the the PCL. I think the PCL is on the. Oh, I don't know about the PCL. Yeah. I've heard of the MCL and the ACL. I don't know about the PCL. PCL is on on the low. Is it? I I mean, it's the one that you're least likely to tear. I'm maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Are you googling it right now? Yeah, knee anatomy. (laughs) I'm gonna show you. I've got. I've got this. Don't worry. Yeah. So on on how many legs? Just just on the one. I said collateral. On one leg or two legs? You ripped one. Here we go. Look See the thing. It. The thing I the thing I fucked up the most was I didn't I didn't actively try to find out how to the uh, LCL how wait. to fix things. I didn't even actually look at oh. all of those are on there, but they're not at all. You literally just showed me. <laughs> you just showed me the thing. That I, picked has the, the, yeah. I picked the wrong no, one. No, not at all. I'm gonna show you. Oh, it's it's you went to the wrong side. So I don't. I didn't do nothing. You I took you to hand it to me and that was done. Shh. Blame me for the thing. I don't. You're the one. You have a penis. You get blamed for everything. Yep, that's how it works. That's how it works. Is it? We get to be creepy. Tell me a story things. about how you've been blamed for things. Here's the PCL. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Um, the PCL? Yeah, I still can't tell what any of this is, but uh, cool. Yeah. ACL, PCL, and then this one doesn't have the MCL. I don't care anymore. Nobody, and honestly, if anybody was listening, they just stopped listening. They, you they, think like, so? For how, yeah, they don't care. Uh, well, because they also can't see our, our, I'm just having our just things. I'm not blaming you for that. I'll take the blame for that. Right, because you have the penis. <laughs> so uh, you f- you feel that way? I mean, you. No, not really. We like we're allowed to have to deal with that pressure. Like my friend got mad at me for something shitty he did two days ago, but that's... and then yelled at me, and then I was like, "Okay, come over." And he's like, "What?" <laughs> and then I blew him and said I was sorry, and then he left. And went, I need more friends and went like home this. To his dad, um, like, no, so his family. We. No, but whenever somebody does that to you, that's on them. Like what? the like Yelled when you me? say something, yeah, when you say something and then they overreact. I was into it though. I was like, okay, oh, so this is a whole, this god. is a power play. Yeah, this, this is everything. is. I'm like, is I'm like, oh my god. I guess I tried to get him to come over yesterday. <laughs> this happened all today, actually. I was like, it happened yesterday that he yelled. So at wait, me. can I ask you this? This is, okay. Yeah. This is a weird thing. So I because 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 I because I've heard this in other in other conversations with people. Like, what's the intersection of germophobia? And blowing a dude like I don't, like I just don't understand. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's you that's just different. remove it. You yeah, remove you it. Know, I don't know who cares about that. Fuck. Well, I mean, I guess I I'm care, saying like but, it's all germ, like it's all germs. But it's somebody that I've like he. So he's actually a huge. So germs huge go. So too. germs. Uh, if I if I germs are omitted. Consent, if you think that somebody is clean, if I consent to germs. your to your um germs it's fine okay so that's how it works yeah just just don't in the germaphone like, brain yeah just don't like molest me with your germs right okay <laughs> that, that's how that works okay like do right. not, don't aggressively sneeze on right. me yeah okay <laughs> fair enough <laughs> this true. uh no that explains that explains everything all right well listen uh we're at like an hour or two you i don't wanna, know you want to be done with me i just i don't know how long is too long um Maybe 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 we'll wrap and we could do maybe we do another we could do another one but I feel yeah. like an hour as long as people want to listen to yeah. either of us. Oh, you're not going to make any cuts to this? No, I no I think it's going to go wrong. <laughs> it's going to go wrong out there. What's funny is the last episode <laughs> like 40 minutes in mm-hmm. and I was interviewing a dude and I don't I don't think I have a great rapport with man. I think I I'm, I'm a, Wait, I'm, was a porn star dude? Yeah, and I'm a natural heel and I'm I'm a natural I give off like a natural sort of like what aggressive vibe. I'll tell you what it is. I mean it's Chad Alva, but uh oh. but we I don't know but so we were we were just kind of I don't yeah. know, I don't know if we were bumping you're an heads. Aquarius. Yeah, I don't know if we were bumping heads yeah. or whatever, but like, so like 40 minutes in, he was he was just like he was like, hey, I think I gotta go, but he said it on the thing, and I was like, yeah. oh, I don't even know how to handle this. Yeah. Do I do I do I do I play it cool or do we just go okay cool and just cut it? You know. Yeah. 
So I tried to keep him for like two more minutes, and he was like, "I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go though. I got like, I still have to go." <laughs> so it's funny. That's wonderful. But this is episode three. I don't know. I don't know the episode rules of, of starting and finishing. Yeah. Did you think mm-hmm. this? You, th- you thought this had more, a much bigger history, huh? No, this, no, no. I knew this is it was episode five hundred. I just that's why I kept 500. yelling at you. I kept yelling at you for um, booking how you were booking me. I'm like, <laughs> hey, you got to do it this way. Well, because I, I, I thought I was strict, talking to the right people. I have strict instructions. No, I, I thought I was talking to the right people. And I got into it. They called me. They were like, you said you were handling this. I was like, I, he was supposed to. Email I didn't know me. who was handling I was it. Like, he was to, to be honest with you, I wasn't sure based on <laughs> other things. Like, people have people have committed and backed out. So I was yeah. like, I was like, the closer I get to the date is when I'll pick the time. Because if I if I carve out the time yeah. slot, I reach out to a venue, yeah. and then and then uh, and I'm like, listen, I got this person, they're coming, yeah. and then it's day of, and I don't show up. They're like, this guy's full of shit. Yeah, he said he was bringing no. this, you know, I person. Just, I just wanted to give you some shit. I my no, you're allowed. I I was like, I thought I thought I was like, I had. They were like, well, you need to reach out to him and tell him. I was like, I'll reach out to him when he sends me the email that I gave him strict <laughs> instructions. And what's fucked up is I thought I was still emailing the right, the person, right person, and then I and then I saw your message, and I was like, I'm totally the asshole. Yeah. Here. I'm totally that. It's okay. And then, uh, and then I, I, I've been pretty good. I used to be, I think, the kind of person where when conflict ar- arose, I would, uh, I would do everything, everything but address it, right? Yeah. So I'd be like, I'd be like, well, you did this and that, and the, and, uh, and, and I think lately, I don't know if it's, I'm just becoming an adult. You're an adult. Now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so How I, old are you? I'm just turned 34. Oh, perfect! And You're so like hitting like I'm like almost prime like, like daddy dude. issues. Yeah, age. oh, yeah. it's great. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, you know, I'm starting to get gray. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my long, god. If I keep my hair Ow. and like in a waistline, yeah, dude, I'm gonna. It's gonna be a whole other, a it's whole like other a level. Fucking porn girl's oh, yeah. wet dream, oh, yeah. man. <laughs> so, uh, so I, I, I was, I think, I, yeah, I think I admitted, I, I think I admitted I was wrong, and I thought that 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 I was talking to the right people. Yeah. And because uh, you were, because you, 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 you were like, yeah, man, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. You were like, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I told you to do a thing. You didn't fucking do it. I'm not gonna do it. Who are you? And then I was like, no, no, no. I'm. It's, you're right. It's my fault. I hit the wrong person. And you. And then immediately you were like, oh, okay, no, I'll probably yeah. do it. And okay, like, cool. and then we, and then we ended up in the exact same place. We did. Because you were like, there's no way I can do it at two o'clock. And yeah. then one hour later. We had two o'clock carved out, and I was like, yeah. "This is so strange that we did we did this song and dance to end up I, in the same I'm place." I'm bratty though; like, I I had to have a power play to feel yeah, no, good. And, like, and, no, that and again, was me. at the end of the day, like, I'm not I'm not the star of it. Like, nobody nobody yeah. cares about this. My for my me. website is literally called bratcharlotte.com. So funny. So. so funny. Embrace oh, it. so yeah, so there. Perfect transition. Should, uh, should they follow you? How yeah, do we follow you? Um, you can follow me thing? on Twitter at the cross triple X. Um, please don't send me nudes or Courtney will get really mad. Right. And stay and and cuz Courtney has to stay on brand. No nudes. Yeah, Cor- <laughs> Courtney will not retweet your nudes. It's not on brand. <laughs> um, sending a nut, sending and, a guy's dick is not on brand. And then, and ever. Then, um Any there's no brand where you send ins- a guy's dick. My Instagram is at the Charlotte Cross. Is it different? What happened? Do you aren't you supposed to you know, get the same one. I had like high hopes that that was going to happen, yeah. but it didn't because I liked I liked the cross triple X because I couldn't get the cross because the cross is a Christian. Right. Devoted. They own that shit. Yeah. yeah. So the I Pope like, owns that shit. Yeah. No, the Pope owns me. OK. <laughs> OK. Fair enough. Well, back, yeah. Back to the. That's back. A, we'll talk about that <laughs> later. That was a porn joke back to the finish. Shout um, out to Mr. Pope. Mr. Pope. We've there's more shout outs on this. Than like a 1992 radio show. Oh my like god! In, in Harlem, like that, like it doesn't make sense. I wasn't even born yet. That's true. Wait, yeah, how old are you? 22. Everybody that was listening just creamed themselves. Um, all right, what else? Um, yeah, yeah no, so that was, so it, it was easy for me. I I, 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 get on people all the time because they don't have the same one. It's easy for me. There's only one Dan Frigolette. Yeah. You're not gonna nobody. I was like, I don't have like, to fight sound anybody. Sound to get for out, it. like. Frigolette. Yeah. So like, wait. So let me. So you have problems with pronunciation. So obviously, this is a stage name. Was you was your is you know not you don't have to say right you're but is that a hard name to pronounce is no you, is, so no, you're just spelled, so you've always so been easy pieces of it are spelt a little weird but for me um it's my adhd that that i have to i ask people when i meet them me i meet people and i ask them how to spell their name even if it's yeah. like something dumb they're like sarah and i go sarah with an h and they go no and then, they, and then that's how i remember a person's name it's yeah. like my weird moniker. i usually remember everyone's name i could not remember that comedian's name that said that about me that one time but you didn't meet him either I didn't. I mean, he so, shook my hand afterwards, yeah. but that but was But you didn't meet it. him, so it's but like, I, I you're off the hook. But I have an insane memory. So. I could take that so many ways. Like, you're just like, I'm a fucking maniac. <laughs> exactly. Or it's good. Insane yeah. being good. 
Okay. Well, okay. this this is this is great. It's, we're at a, we're at an hour seven. People tuned out uh, fifteen minutes ago <laughs> uh, when we started talking about menisci and uh, and MCL and PCL. <laughs> but I feel like we had a good time here. Uh, follow us. Um, check out the videos, or if that's how you got here, check out the other stuff. Um, I don't know. This was a uh, this was great. Thank you so much. Uh, Porn stars and people podcast. Check us out on the web. Keep following us. Subscribe. All those things. Thank you. <laughs>